Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Hold on. <laughs> Today is Thursday, November 21st. It is 9 a.m. I've been up since like 7. I actually woke up at 5 to pack down from lunch and like say bye to him, but I went back to sleep and then I woke up like at 7 and then kind of took a nap and then I woke up at 7.30 to go um, take my mom to work and my sisters to school, but I just got home and I just turned Courtney's lights on and he's barely waking up. Like he just put his head up, but he's waking up. Good morning, baby boy. <laughs> um, anyways. I thought I would just bring you guys along my day today. I have a few things to do, but first I'm going to drink some hot water with lemon. That is what I've been doing for the past week and I've really been liking it. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I do every single morning. And I also have to clean this room that is a mess right now. Um, and I just turned the heater on because this morning I was really, really hot and now I'm really, really cold. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Okay, so I have my little lemon water right here. I let it sit for like a few minutes so it's not burning hot. But I'm actually about to fill out some paperwork. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen every single vlog of mine, but in one of them I mentioned that my teeth moved. After I got my braces off, my teeth kind of shifted and moved a little bit. And I don't like my smile anymore. And I really want to have a perfect smile for my wedding. So today I'm actually going to a consultation um, at another ortho. So... My ortho before actually is about 45 to 50 minutes away from where I live. So I don't think I want to, I don't want to make that drive. If I can find an ortho that is as good and here in my town, then I definitely am going to go. So I'm going to go to this consultation and see what he says, what the doctor says, and hopefully um, get a good quote for my braces. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drink my lemon water and I'm going to fill out paperwork that I need to take to the um, office today so <sighs> okay guys I'm just finishing up writing my planner I just finished the paperwork and now I'm going to have some breakfast my breakfast today is oatmeal um, so this is gluten-free oatmeal it has a half of a banana it has organic uh, coconut shreds and cacao nibs it has ground cinnamon and honey if I'm still hungry after this I'll probably have um, I'll probably have a mango as well, but this is what my breakfast for right now is. It is currently 9.44. I have to start getting ready because my appointment is at 11.20, but I'm going to leave here like at 11 so I can get there on time. Well, not on time, so I can get there earlier, but... I'm currently getting ready, texting my love Lulu and my husband, and I'm actually watching some videos on YouTube too. I'm currently going to make... I'm going to make a heavier breakfast because I'm still hungry so I'm going to make some avocado toast I don't have a toaster but I have this handy dandy little thing that toasts my bread really well so that's what we're gonna do I actually am the bread I'm using is the Sam's Choice gluten-free multi-grain bread this is only 80 calories per slice so I don't think I told you guys but it actually snowed all yesterday and all today but thankfully it was just like our nieve if you guys know what i mean it's pretty melted right now um but yeah i'm in the second room um and i'm doing my makeup this is where my makeup desk and everything is so i'm just getting ready and yeah gotta hurry up finish getting ready and then eat my breakfast and then head to my appointment so yeah this is what my teeth look like actually they, this tooth right here was a main problem when I got braces it was really really in like dented in and they brought it out but now it moved a little bit back in you guys can't tell but I can and then my bottom teeth shifted and so did my bite so I don't know we'll see what they tell me at the consultation today look at how perfectly 
posted this is thank you okay we have avocado in on here already now i'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on it and then i'll smash it again just to distribute to the lemon and then we'll just add a salt and pepper is my perfect avocado toast now now i'm gonna eat this blend my bronzer finish getting ready and then head to the dentist a little bit behind schedule but this is my outfit i did snow today so i'm just wear i'm just wearing something comfy some dogs leggings socks a beanie and this little um vest thing i am wearing jonathan's shirt don't tell him though <laughs> it is 11 10 so i have 10 minutes to get there granted it's only like five minutes away but let's head over i'm so excited <gasps> hopefully we do something about my smile but if i don't need them then i'm obviously not gonna get them but We'll see, I guess. I'll bring you guys along. I don't know if I'll vlog in there. I'm really um, self-conscious about that when I begin. But if you guys seen my other braces vlogs, you know that I'm very comfortable with my orthos. So hopefully this is that. Alright, we are in the car. I actually got a comment the other day asking me if I still have my car. Yes, I do. If you guys don't know, my car's name is Archie. So, Hi guys, I'm out of my ortho appointment. Um, it went pretty well. I, it didn't go as expected. I think I thought they were going to give me like options. Like, oh, you can either do braces or Invisalign, blah, blah. But he pretty much said that if I want to have everything set by my wedding which will be in six to eight months I would have to do Invisalign so um, with Invisalign he gave me three options that I could do because I have like some gaps in my teeth that I want to close um, and then I have the my bottom teeth that are trying to shift um, we need to straighten them out and then push the top uh, tooth out like I wanted to so he said if the first the first option is like to get close all the gaps and put bonded retainers on the back of my teeth and just like do everything that I want fixed will take six to eight months and will be a little bit over four thousand dollars. And then the second option, which will be just straightening my teeth, the top and bottom, and putting bonded retainers, which will also be a little bit over four thousand um, dollars. Or the third option is that they can give me like a, a retainer that I could put on and off just to push my upper tooth out. 
which will be a little bit over a thousand dollars so I have three options um, the third one I'm not gonna do because that's just not what I want to do the two other options are really pricey they're over four thousand dollars which is a huge investment that I would have to make for Invisalign because I would have to make like a 20% I don't know like I have to pay a huge chunk of money before I even get Invisalign on but he said that there's also I could just leave my teeth as they are but um, I don't know I'm actually gonna talk to my mom and Jonathan about it to see because four thousand dollars is an investment but it is for my teeth um, but I don't know honestly I don't know I came out I am really confused on what I want to do so I'm not sure you guys will have to stay updated I guess I might go with the first option I might not but anyways I'm actually gonna get my nails done because look at them they are freaking chipped if you can see this one is chipped right there so we're gonna go get our nails done and we'll see if they have time but I really have to pee too so guys it is so freaking cold outside it's snowing again and I just got out of getting my nails done I honestly haven't done these type of nails since probably like 2010 maybe or like 2011 when I was still una dama para quinceañeras <laughs> I think that's the last time I did this but I'm gonna show you my nails please don't come at me but I literally just got a French dip because i don't know it was honestly something very impulsive i was just i had watched a youtube video two days no yesterday i think and she was like oh yeah i'm getting like a french dip manicure i was like so i had it in my head already so i was like oh i can i do a french tip can i just do a french dip and he was like yeah sure and he did my nails <laughs> I cannot believe I have French on my nose. That is so freaking crazy, but whatever. I actually really like them. I just feel like se ve more señora life. That's what my nails are like. You just got to step out of your comfort zone for for once and, you know, I just did something crazy. These are my natural nails though. That's how long they are. And I just did dip on them. Um, I don't know. Maybe hopefully I keep them on for like 3 weeks like I do my uh, like I do all my dip but if not I'll probably come get them changed to just a regular color because um, I don't know why I did French dip okay I'll have to pick up my mom in a little bit it is 151 so I haven't had lunch you guys saw me have breakfast but I haven't had lunch I just got two mad greens and I think I'm just gonna have a big salad and just eat it there and catch up on some emails since I haven't been really home all day to work um, so yeah, we're at Mad Green's gonna get a salad and kind of think over the whole Invisalign thing I mean, f I just think about it like $4,000 is so so much money and it hurts my wallet It's just ah, I don't know Are my teeth okay? You guys think I should just leave them? I don't know Ya fui por mi mamá, diga hola mam. Hola chicas. Tenemos como 30 minutos. Me está explicando cómo hacer carne con chile y arroz rojo. Porque nunca lo he hecho. Y le voy a hacer a mi esposo ahora a ver si no se me bate el arroz y a ver si me sale la carne. Y lo voy a documentar para ver si me sale. Uh -huh. Y si no me sale. Pues de todas maneras se lo va a comer porque qué más va a comer. Usted tranquila y nerviosa. ¿Me van a decir que qué? Que se ve bien triste. Ay, ¿por qué se ve triste tu mamá? ¿Por qué me ve triste? Sí. Dice Chile. ¿Por qué anda triste, Marita? Usted no me va a A lo mejor se ve triste porque no trae sus pestañas. No. Y porque tiene los ojos muy caídos. No. Voy a ir a que me levanten las... los párpados. Ah, no, yo también voy a ir a California. Voy a ir a que pues me... nos vamos usted y yo. Pues sí, mejor, mira. mejor nos vamos tú y yo. Y listo. Voy a que me hagan mi, mi facial. Y me voy a inyectar también la fe para que no se me hagan la luz. Ay, cálmate. Hola, chicas. Hola. All right, guys, I made it. Hey, Google, pause. 
I am so in love with my Google Home. But anyways, I'm home and I'm, I just got off of Instagram Live. You guys are being so nice to me. But I'm going to start making my rice. So yeah, lo, I rinsed it and everything and I have everything there. So I'm going to start cooking. Por favor, no dejen sus comentarios todos. Like, that's not how you cook. Like, you should have done this and this. I know. Like, my mom already told me what I have to do. Si no me sale, no me sale. But practice makes perfect. Con práctica todo se puede. Así es de que, por favor, no me hagan sentir mal en los comentarios. Porque yo sé, this is my first time cooking. Uh, like, cooking actual Mexican, like, authentic food. So... Please just say a prayer for me and wish me good vibes. <laughs> but let's start cooking the rice. No se me ha batido, ya la pagué, ya no nos está esperando que venga Jonathan. Déjenme su enseño. No sé qué sepa, pero se ve bien. Hijo de su, si sí soy esposa. Y aquí tenemos la carne. Um, el sartén no está tan grande, perdónenme, pero hice lo que pude. Ahí se está haciendo. Oh my gosh. Ya tengo las tortillas de harina de Jonathan listas. Él no más come de harina, le gusta más de harina, no le gusta tanto de maíz. Sí, me gustan las dos, pero yo no voy a comer porque está a dieta. Pero ojalá y le guste. Ah, yo quiero que llegue para que lo pruebe, pero todavía no me dice que, sale, que ya salió, ya son las cinco y media y todavía no me textea. So, a ver qué. Jonathan is home, it's time to get his reaction. Are you excited, babe? I'm so excited. This is the first authentic Mexican food I've ever I cooked know. you. Ever. In that, our was six quick. Years. that was quick. That was quick. What? Because I told you just yesterday. Yesterday he's like, oh, I quiero carne con chile. No quiero your American healthy twist on food anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's that. Oh my God, yes. Wait, don't try it yet. Y con tortilla. Cheat day. Cheat day? You're supposed to be eating like 3,000 calories a day. I'm gonna start with the rice. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Rice. 10 out of 10. Oh, babe, don't do that, please, please. Okay. Okay. Me. With your fingers. Me. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay. Mmm. Who made this? Me. No, I, I, babe, I filmed Your myself. No, she didn't. My mom? No. Is it good? You promise? Babe, it's freaking good. Is this your first time? Yeah. yeah I just told my mom to tell me everything I needed. She went with me to La Canicería and just told her to tell me how to make hombre. Really? Mmm. Mm. Let's go right here right now. Babe, are you just stunning for the vlog or are you serious? No, man, it's good. Really? Mm -hmm. No le falta nada? No. 
I've never had it like this. Oh, it's good. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the vlog. It was a 10 out of 10 for Jonathan, so that makes me really happy because obviously he's my husband. He's the main person that I need to approve my cooking, if you guys know what I mean. But yeah, I think we're either going to go to the gym or just chill out for the rest of the night. It's about 7.30. Oh, it's 7.43 p.m. and it's cold as heck and it's snowing and... Yeah, so um, this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I appreciate you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. But until then, please always remember, God goes glowing and growing.